check the key. Perfect. So all we have to do now is throw it back into the body of the lock. Throw this screw in here. Tighten it down. That's all there is to it. And check to make sure. What? <sighs> Son of a <laughs> So, looks like you're an idiot. Good news is so am I. I just did this last week with my Avis 83 and it took me forever to find a solution to open this up. The problem is, you forgot to put the cam actuator back onto the back of the plug to talk with the cam. So when you turn the key, there's something touching the cam to actuate it and open up the shackle. So how do we open this lock from its state that it's in now? Well, I looked all over the internet to find pictures of what the cam looks like so we can exploit it and open up the lock. But there's very few decent pictures out there. Luckily, my friend had one that I could borrow so I could inspect it. <clears throat> now, this is a Series 1. Mine's a Series 2, but luckily the, the cam is the same design. And it's very hard to tell the depth, but these two triangles are protruding from the back of the cam, uh, giving us something to hook onto. So if we take something like a screwdriver, we can put the flathead in between the triangles and open up the lock. So. We need to make a tool that can slide down the back of this keyway and grab those triangles and move them 90 degrees. So I tried everything from our favorite bobby pins to clothes hangers. And finally I took out my tobacco pipe multi-tool keychain and I was able to bend this. Now, I have on mine a very wide open keyway. This is the Schlage 3000 uh, keyway. And this barely fits down there. So, for this video, I wanted to make something that most keyways could work off of and that we could make with anything we could buy at a hardware store. <clears throat> so I picked up after searching the entire store, these marking flags, which have a perfectly sized piece of metal that will fit right into both of these keyways. And this is a Schlage 1000. So I'm gonna go through how I made this little guy and uh, Fast forward through it all so you can see the entire building process and I'll give you the exact dimensions that you need in order to get this thing back open if this is happening to you. So let's fast forward. So there's not really too much going on. Um, you just have to snap off a four and a half inch piece of the flag, bend the toe, trim it down to size, Find where the lip is and make a bend and do a whole bunch of sanding. I'll give you all the dimensions towards the end of the video. So if you just want to fast forward to that, uh, feel free. Uh, the only thing left to do at this point is to bend the handle. 
and we'll pick it up right after this. So th this is the toe and the heel that will fall between the triangles of our cam and it will actuate the shackle. Then all of this right here up to that bend is the height that I need to be at. So when I'm on the absolute back of this, I know that that is sort of my depth check. As so long as that bend is right on the lip of this lock, then I know I'm at the right height. Uh, the bend back is just to get a little bit more room between my fingers and the keyway. So when I drop it in there, I can see what I'm doing. And the way it works is we're gonna drop it in to the back. We're gonna turn it 90 degrees. And hopefully I will be able to grab it like that and make that full 90 degree turn. It is very, very tricky because this is so small, but it can happen. Unfortunately, we can't make this any longer or else we couldn't get it through the keyway, but it is possible to open it up. So now is just the arduous task of bringing it down, bringing it over, and hopefully hitting the spot. Instead of trying to feel my way, I just constantly move it around and hope that I get lucky. Now, you might think that you're the idiot because you did this in the first place, but I'm the idiot that did it and then did it again just to show you how to fix it. I uh, put myself through the same mess that I went through last week. Uh, the last thing I thought was, thank God I never have to do this again when I opened it up. Uh, well, this one is self-induced. Ha <laughs> ha uh, ha! It worked. Okay. All right. So one more design feature um, that I put on this thing is uh, this angle here. If you line it up with the keyway, then it will come right out. Because this angle here is the same as that angle there. Here is the dimensions from toe to heel. It is, oops, sorry about that. <clears throat> Here we go. From toe to heel, it's this big. Uh, from the back of the heel to the first turn, that's the depth of your uh, lock from the lip down to the bottom of the cam is this much. Uh, from here to here and here to here doesn't really matter. Uh, that's up to you. I just made two bends and the distance between them is the distance of my pliers that I was using. Uh, so just do the same thing. And then uh, from here to the bend also doesn't matter whatever's, uh, whatever works for you. And uh, good luck with your Avis CD3, I almost locked it up again. What a f***ing idiot. Well, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I hope you learned a lot. I hope the one person that finds this video in the exact same situation will be grateful. And hopefully they will give me the thumbs up. Uh, if you liked it, although it's not helpful for you at the moment, uh, please give it a like. Uh, give me a subscribe and ring the notification bell. 
Um, there's also a little icon right here that if you click, uh, it will subscribe. Um, my last video I did is over here, and my next video is over here. And until next time, peace.